So here we are. We're trying to determine the number and types of solutions to a quadratic equation before we actually crunch the numbers. And in order to do that, what we want to go through is we want to check the discriminant. Yes, I'll talk about the discriminant in a minute. But what I do have is I have the quadratic formula. I've rewritten it in a form that's going to help us determine um, the number and types of solutions. I broke that fraction up into two. They have the same denominator, so I would be able to add their fraction, so it is conceivable that I would be able to rewrite it like this. The discriminant is part of the quadratic formula. It's the part under the root. Okay, so let's talk about that part under the root. Three things can happen. It can be bigger than zero, it can be smaller than zero, or it can be equal to zero. Okay. Let's go through and take a look at these things. If the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is bigger than zero, let's look at that root. Can you take a square root of a real positive number? Yes, you can. And when you do, you get a real positive number. So here we're gonna get two real solutions. One where this plus that real number and this minus that real number because we're taking the square root of a positive number. Yes. So this is going to get you two real solutions. Okay. The second part in our trifecta. Yeah. Um, the trilogy, if you will. What happens if your discriminant is smaller than zero? I guess, man. When I go and I plug this up in here, right, this number is going to be negative. What happens when you take the square root of a negative number? Yeah, you get an imaginary number. Okay, so it's this plus an imaginary part and this plus a real part. And we know complex numbers have real parts and imaginary parts. So here, you're going to get two non-real solutions. And when I say non-real, I mean complex with an imaginary part. Because some real numbers, all real numbers, are complex numbers, just excluding the imaginary part, making them purely real. So let's look at our third case down here. What if the discriminant is zero? Wow, this is the discriminant. If the discriminant is zero, can you take the square root of zero? Yeah, what is it? Zero. What's going to happen to this entire term? Gone. And then what are you left with? Only one real number. See, it's not going to have the plus and the minus from it. It's going to be one real number. So then, this is one real solution. All right, so these are the three cases of our discriminant. Why don't we go through and do a couple of examples with those. I'm up here to my first example. Until you're a professional, I strongly encourage that you label. A is two, B is minus three, and C is minus one. Fun. So I'm gonna take him and I'm gonna plug it here? No, I'm gonna plug it here. Because it's our goal and our intentions to determine the number and type of solutions without solving the equation. Okay, sure. So then this is going to be b squared minus 4ac. Finish here. Um, this is 9 plus 8. Great. That nets you 17. Uh huh. Okay. Now, is that bigger than 0, smaller than 0, or is it 0? That's bigger than 0. So then, in conclusion, you can state, by use of the discriminant, that this is two real solutions. Okay, with a flower. Now I'm down here to my second example. Here I see my A is 1, my B is 2, and my C is 9. Fine. So I need to go through and I need to plug those into the discriminant. So that's going to get me b squared minus 4ac. 
C. Okay, so I'm looking at four minus, oh wait, 36. And that's gonna net you a minus 32. Yes! Is that bigger than zero, smaller than zero, or is it zero? That's smaller than zero, hence getting you two non-real solutions. Give me some. Last.